Hey, how's everybody doing today? Um, we're back in the bike shop again. Um, and uh, I found a new bike that uh, intrigued me. I used to love BMX. I, you know, I don't discriminate against any kind of bike. Uh, whatever uh, type you want to ride is great. It's good exercise. Um, but I went to this, uh, it, it turns out they, they built this new jump track near me, or uh, they call it a pump track where you can, you don't even have to pedal, you can just kind of, uh, you're, you're almost doing squats on your bike and then you shoot around the, the thing in a circle, it's pretty fun. Um, and then there's jumps and all kinds of stuff there that people are doing crazy stuff on, but um, I tried it on my mountain bike and it was a whole lot of fun and I thought, you know, this would be a lot easier on a BMX bike. So I picked this one up. Uh, this is the Mongoose L100. Uh, I wanted a bike that was very strong because I'm, I don't know, 210 pounds about. And uh, so I wanted full chromoly frame, full chromoly fork, chromoly handlebars, and uh, crank set. And then double wall rims with sealed bearings. That was kind of my requirements. Um, I wanted to get to that level, let's say, at least, because that's um, those are the bikes that are going to withstand my kind of weight if I decide to go off a jump or anything. Uh, but, uh, so I found this one, I found a video on YouTube and Scotty Cranmer and his, uh, brother, uh, was testing this out. Um, his brother's like a pro rider and he had a $2,200 mongoose bike, uh, and that where everything is bespoke. He picked out everything, full custom job. And then there was this one. This is the Legion L100, which, um, uh, was about $485, I think, the, the MSRP on this one is. So um, he did the trick on each. He did it on his pro bike, and then he did the trick on the off-the-shelf, essentially, L100. And uh, what was crazy is that he did all the tricks better on the L100. Uh, so he was baffled at the end of it as to why this one would be better than his, and he thought about making some changes to his after that. But, so I said, well, if it's good enough for him, it's going to be good enough for me with my casual riding. So I uh, Googled it, and it uh, turns out they had one on Woot for a great deal. So I said, great, I'll pick that up and uh, see how I get on with it. So I'm going to build that puppy up and uh, get going on it. Okay, and boom goes the dynamite. I got the bike all together. Um, just some rough setup. I didn't tilt the seat or anything yet. I just set it kind of high, see how it feels. Um, kind of old, I got a back problem, joints hurt, so I'm just gonna try to set it up for comfortable cruising. Um, the tires are pretty huge for a BMX bike. They're 2.4s. Um, which is uh, new. I mean, since the 90s, uh, when I was selling them, early 90s, I think they were 1.9s or 1.75. Um, they were under two inch, uh, I'm pretty sure, but these are beefy. Uh, should uh, have a lot of grip and, and a lot of uh, cushion. 
um, for uh, concrete ramps and stuff. I put my old pedals on here from that came with my mountain bike. These are just some plastic pedals. I know they've got a big enough base on them. Um, this bike didn't come with anything better. Uh, they're actually smaller plastic pedals. It's pretty gritty bearings in there. I'm going to get some better pedals, but I figured I'd just leave these in the shrink wrap and use the ones I already uh, already have. Um, I'm getting a growing drawer full of pedals over there. Uh, but yeah, uh, Legion L100, we got full chromoly frame, uh, chromoly handlebars, chromoly fork, um, sealed bearings in the rear hub. Uh, it's a 25 tooth and a 9 tooth, which is all, also kind of a new thing for me. Uh, when I used to ride BMX, it was uh, 44 16, I believe, or 45 16. But um, they went with a more compact gear. It's like the same gear ratio, but more compact so that there's more uh, ground clearance here, so you don't bash your chainring on stuff, I guess. Um, three er, chromoly cranks. Uh, the bike, there's a couple little marks on it, a tiny little mark here on the seat stay, a little scratch on the crank arm. Um, at this price, you can't expect flawless perfection though. I mean, that's I'm still pretty happy with uh, the way it came out. Um, there is some ears for a gyro, if I want to add that down the road. Um, there's, on the bar, there's no paint on the knurled portion of the bar itself. There's a little paint on the stem, both sides of the stem, and paint is what ends up causing your bars to slip. So at least they don't have any paint on the knurled portion. Uh, the, um, the stem itself I cleaned with alcohol so that the bars would grip a little better. At least there won't be any grease in there. We'll see if it starts slipping, then I'll have to pull it off and uh, sand the paint out of the stem or just get a different stem. That looks like a pretty cheap stem, at least it's a top load. Um, but anyway, these tires are heavy. Uh, the wheels are heavy too. Um, so if I ever want to go lighter, first thing is probably the tires. Uh, go to a Kevlar bead and something with a little bit thinner sidewall. But these things are like tanks. They're going to be bomb proof. So might just be perfect the way it is. Uh, I got this bike because um, I just want to play around. I'm just playing around. You know, I'm 46. My body's shot. Um, going up and down the pump track. And uh, I don't need the greatest thing out there. So uh, this, um, uh, this came up on Woot and it was on a killer deal so I took advantage of it uh, it was like 24 hours only they're they're all sold out now unfortunately they still have a gray one up uh, for uh, 329 which is impressive so uh, I think it's a 400 and 485 dollar retail on this one so they've got kind of a mushroom grip which is cool single back brake it's like a Diacom 990 style um, much stronger than the center post brake. I mean, it's got all the modern features. Uh, the front, um, the front is loose ball bearings in the front hub. Not a huge deal. It is female threaded though, so you've got the bolt from the outside, which is kind of a new thing. I guess that's better for running pegs. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take my little badge sticker off. I'm gonna play around and have some fun. Maybe I'll shoot some videos. Uh, last time I was at the track, the uh, there was guys doing backflips off of the stuff and doing, you know, uh, 360s and 720s and stuff off the jump, so it's kind of neat. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.